Uh, for millions of people, maybe billions of people, uh, how often have you thought about watching just one clip and then emerged from the vortex of videos an hour later? My next guest has established himself as a phenomenon on the TikTok platform with millions of followers ready to describe him as the man who knows something about everything, if not everything about everything. Aslan Pahari, a 24-year-old student based in Australia, is hopefully ready now to let us know his secret. But first, let's have a look at him in action. My friend, how on earth does a painting from the 16th century display dinosaurs? Well, my friend, the answer is actually very interesting. We are fortunate enough to live in an era where we have immediate access to images of literally any creature mankind knows of. But that wasn't really the case historically, was it? So there were cases of people trying to paint creatures that they had not actually seen, simply basing them off descriptions that they've read. So this could have been a depiction of an elephant or perhaps a camel in a time where such creatures could only be found in books. Similarly, here's another attempt at drawing a camel. Now this attempt at drawing a camel ended up looking like a Pokemon. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Aslan, I hope you're there. Welcome to the programme. Joining us from Sydney. Uh, so th thanks for coming on at what is for you such an early hour. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Hello, Neil. Hello, hello. How did this start for you? Honestly, um, I was bored in the pandemic. Uh, we were in lockdown and I had just downloaded this new apparent dance app. I started scrolling. I came across... A variety of different dance videos but then i started coming across videos about social issues about about uh discussions on history and i thought to myself well i could probably do something like that i made a little video about um the partition of india uh, in 1947 and pakistan uh, a few people watched it and from then i just continued what is your main area of interest? You, you've kind of you've become known as a as a, a polymath and someone who makes a contribution <laughs> all manner of subjects. But do you have a, a first love? Um, I think my interests are more to do with anthropology. I like to know why humans around the world live the way that they do, why uh, why we all do the things that we do, and why we've kept traditions. Um, so I think it's really based around anthropology, and I think history naturally ties into that. One of my um, one of my guests here in the studio, Narinder Kaur, is, is is nodding along with, with with what you're saying. I was I was ju I was just um, wondering, Narinder, if, if you're clearly a TikTok supporter. Have you run across Aslan before? Oh, I before? wouldn't say no. I hadn't, and I did have looks, and your stuff is great. I loved it, but I wouldn't say I'm a supporter. I need to come off. I'm an addict. So when you go on TikTok, I always think, right, I'll go on at nine o'clock. And I'll go on it for about 20 minutes, three hours later, and I'm still like this. It's like Pringles. Once you start, you, you can't, can't stop. stop. Yeah. But it is, it's more like Aslan. So people know TikTok for dancing. And I'm glad it's got away from that. And we're now learning. And Aslan's material, you do learn. Aslan, you, you mentioned anthropology. I, I suspect archaeology and history are in there with your interests as well. Um, do you think it's, I, I often find that my interest, I, I've been a journalist, I, I was an archaeologist before that, and I've always said my interest is inspired really by nosiness about people. Uh, people yesterday, people today, and people 10,000 years ago. Uh, are, are we on common ground? Absolutely. I think that ties into what I was saying earlier. Um, I just want to know why people are the, the way that they are. 